In this video, we will see how we can implement the autocomplete functionality in Angular. And there are various packages are available for autocomplete. And we are going to use the simplest one, ng-select. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed this channel, you can also subscribe it. So let's get started. But before getting started, I am assuming that you already have basic knowledge of Angular and I already have created a project. So if you haven't created this, you can also create it. Okay, now we can start the things. So first of all, we need to install a package. So install this package and the select slash and the select. Once you have installed the package, you need to open the app.module.ts file. And here we need to import some packages. So first of all, we need to import this one and the select module from at the rate and the select and the select. Now we need to import another module which is reactive form modules and it is going to be used for the form stuff. Now we need to import these thing in the in this import array. So just copy this guy and paste it here and copy this guy and paste it here okay now module import section has done so close this tab now open your styles.scss file and we have to import a css file for decorating our ng select so we are going to use this one default theme and there is also one option available you can check out in their documentation and it is a material theming option okay so let's save it now we need to create a component so you need to type here this nggc and share one thing missing nggc component slash autocomplete slash demo okay and what it is going to do it is going to create a components folder for us and inside that folder it will create autocomplete demo component for us so press enter and it will create a component for us now you will see that we have this folder here and we need to work on these files now so now open this autocomplete component.ts file okay now we need to import few packages here so we need to import this on init for ng on init method we need to import two more components here form builder and form group for doing form related stuff now we need to implement this ng on in it so we can define this method here okay now we are going to create this variable or this property frm or field whatever it is which is a type of form group and we are going to define the fruit array here with some random values apple avocado banana blueberry pineapple peach pomegranate and we are defining is submitted equals to false that we can check that is our form is submitted or not now we need to do few more steps here so first we need to define a constructor so that we can use the form builder service now we are going to inject our form builder service here now we are going to initialize this form here with the help of form group this dot fv dot group and inside we will define few properties first one is selected fruit second one is description now we are going to define a on post method which will be invoked on the form submit so what we will do here we will just initialize the true value to the is submitted means we will assign true value to the this dot is submitted okay now i guess 
Now we have done this part so we can close this one. Now we have to open this HTML component and we have to define some functionality here, some HTML stuff. So first thing will be div. It is a container where we are going to define our form. It is heading and here we are writing ng select auto complete demo. Now we have to define a form. It's property form group equal to frm and we have defined this thing inside here here we have defined this frm so you can see it here now here and the submit equals to on post and we have defined this method here on post now we are going to define label with the class name label and we will define the css part later so we are going to define our autocomplete input here which is ng select and it is the main thing class w20 we will define it later form control name equals to selected fruit ng option ng4 equal to let fruit of fruits and we have defined this fruits array here okay so now its value will be fruit id and it is the thing that we will display in the let me wrap up this thing okay so this one value is the value of this control and it is it will be displayed in the drop down box okay so it is just a kind of select input okay now just defining here label with description text area and it is supporting input form input box so here we are going to find a submit button and save now we need to define a div here where we will display the value of form and this value will be displayed when we submit our form otherwise it is not going to display its class will be message and its value will be frm.value json now here we are defining a whole form but we only need this for the ng select it is the main stuff other things are just the supporting character in this form okay so you need to focus only on this component okay now let's close this tab okay now we need to define some css here so open this one autocomplete.demo.component.css so we need to define some classes here stays auto container its width will be 40 percent margin auto padding 15 pixel minimum at 300 pixel border 1px solid black background color is this display type table so that it can expand when we display there when we display a form message there okay so here is the font family heading and it is the class for our heading and here it is the css for our input box or text area now it is the css for our label so its font size will be 20 pixel display block margin top and bottom will be 8px and from left to top left to right will be zero now it is the css for button which will be block label button its padding will be 10 pixel from top and bottom and 15 percent from left and right font size will be 18 pixel border none background color is this and cursor pointer now its color will be white margin 8px actually i have removed it accidentally so yeah the next thing is message and i need to uncomment this thing so press ctrl k u and save now last thing we need to do here we just have to open this 
app.component.html file and we have to add this line okay app complete demo it is the selector of our this component so you can find it here inside this typescript file you will see this thing just copy this thing and paste it here okay so now we are done we can run our project so just type here ng serve open now this is the thing we were implementing so far so you can see it is a drop down and we can search here so if i type here a it will result with a things and if i type here pi it will give us this result so let's type here p e a c h peach and just add this description i have selected peach now let's save it and it will display its value selected fruit 6 and description i have selected the peach that's it for now i will see you next time